And so President Biden just 10 days away from the next State of the Union address. The Federal Trade Commission, by the way, to date in advance of that, might be giving him a new talking point, potentially. The FTC is suing to block what would be the largest supermarket merger in U.S. history. That's between Kroger and Albertsons. The director of the FTC's Bureau of Competition saying, quote, it would, it would lead to additional grocery price hikes for everyday goods, further exacerbating the financial strain consumers across the country face today, end quote. Meantime, did you see this? One of the nation's, not one of, the nation's top banker is warning that he's not as optimistic about the economy as the markets are. Here was Jamie Dimon earlier today. Watch. So when people talk about, you know, the market is kind of pricing a soft landing, that may very well happen, but, you know, the odds at 70 or 80 percent, I would give them half of that. That's all. We may very well have one, but I think there was also a higher chance in the market things of rates being a little bit higher. So, Mick, so Jamie Dimon says if the markets are pricing in a 75 percent or chance so of there being a soft landing, meaning no recession, right? he's at half of that, which is pricing in maybe a two-thirds percent chance that there could be some form of a recession. Is he right there? Yeah, I, listen, I, it, this is prognostication of the markets, right? If you knew he was right, you could make a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we wouldn't tonight. be here. So We'd be on the, the yacht that, in the Mediterranean. That's exactly right. right. I think what he's saying is, look, the numbers are all over the place. They just are. The inflation numbers are still sticking around. There was some new inflation data out just last week that it's still hotter than the Federal Reserve wants. But you weigh that against the Federal Reserve's inability to raise their rates. They can't raise rates back like they did in the 1970s to beat inflation because we couldn't afford interest rates at 16 percent right now. The federal government would go broke. So there's sort of this strange area where inflation is still hot, but the Fed can't really raise rates. In fact, they're talking about lowering rates. The data is all over the board right now. And that's why I think you're getting a variety of opinions on what comes down in the next six to nine months. If this happens, if he's right, that ain't good for your guy. It ain't happening. Two years ago, they were, <laughs> they were uh, progno prognosticating that we were going to be in a recession and inflation was going to be twice as high. So inflation I mean, was transitory for a while, too. Yeah, uh, that's true, too. I concede that. I concede that. So they've all been wrong all over the place. I think the big deal here is Jamie Dimon, when people, when people hear Jamie Dimon, they listen to him. Yeah. And he's also in that interview, start talking about, I know you're going to talk about this, talking about the uh, merger between okay. these credit card companies. Yeah, so uh, Discover and uh, Capital One. Exactly. And Democrats are already saying no block. So we saw the Biden administration say, let's block this supermarket deal. Mm -hmm. Now there's a possible conglomerate credit card deal. Here was J Jamie Dimon on that, too. Watch. I, look, I, I think companies should be allowed to do and innovate and grow and merge and try to challenge things. I think that's good. So I think it's a mistake to act like it's bad. It's good for competition. In fact, some of we I think they should allow some of these smaller banks to merge. If that's how they, they think they can best compute J.P. Morgan, you should let them. It may not work in every case, but they, you shouldn't predetermine that. You should let the market uh, predetermine that. And you got Democrats coming out today basically pushing back on this idea of, of, of a merger. Democrats hate mergers. I, well, I know, and, and that's why I bring up the, the, and, the and Kroger thing. And, Repu and Republicans Let do them compete. Too. Do they really? Okay. Yeah, and Josh Hawley and the other sort of <laughs> they hate everything. populist. They, yeah, they're, they're against it. <laughs> this is a story about Joe Biden paying a price <clears throat> for uh, appeasing his left wing in the early going of his administration. He appointed mm -hmm. a woman named Lena Khan yep. mm -hmm. to run the FTC. And Lena mm -hmm. Khan is an enthusiastic radical. She's an Elizabeth boy. She's, she's a very, very, I'm sure the youngest person to ever lead the FTC. And she brings this super aggressive approach. Here's the problem. That merger, that grocery store merger, mm -hmm. uh, the argument that it would raise prices is that it would raise prices in the long term. What would it do to food prices in the short term? Bring them down. It would bring mm -hmm. sh short-term food prices down, which is something Joe Biden would like. What would the credit card? We had the points guy on. Yeah, our, our they said friend. it's good for consumers. What would, what would that mm -hmm. do in the short term for consumers? It would help consumers. Joe Biden would like both of those things to happen this year, but Lena Khan okay. has a different opinion. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.